everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on Zootopia, the random modern theme park thing. I need a better way to say that. I think it's just a modern theme park, I'd say that. Though a lot of people, uh, when I say that, they are mentioning they, th they thought it meant like modern architecture. No, it's uh, just modern in the sense that I'm just going to put whatever I want in here. I'm not doing a specific theme like we have done in the past. And I'm actually having a ton of fun with it. I'm able to... Uh, creatively come up with a lot more stuff than just uh, being limited to a specific theme. Look at all those people, woo! So finally went and added a priority pass to the Log for Loom ride. Thank you for reminding me. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, I also went and added the, uh, the, the log part earlier, where all the logs were kind of cut down. You saw that. Uh, just about the entrance, just because that was a cool idea I thought I'd throw in there. So I remembered both the things I meant to do last episode. So hooray for remembering things and fixing things. Good job. Over here, someone had a good suggestion in the comments. They're like, hey, you should add a path over by there, so it's kind of like where people get splashed. Uh, it would be cool to have it like, going over that section. Uh, that wouldn't really work right now. We don't really have any reason to put it back there, so I thought we'd just have one right next to it, and that gave us a nice little clearing here for a random flat ride. I decided to go with the chair swing, just because this was uh, this is one I haven't actually used in the park before. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of put it over here, and then kind of keep it in the same theme of the log flume, so we go with the similar colors and similar foliage kind of spread around there. Just with some trees and bushes, not meant to be anything special. And then taking some of our Cetopia lights and placing them out through there on the path. Trying to make it look all nice and pretty. I love the chair swing, man. Those things are so cool. I remember using those down at the Pima County Fair back in like middle school. Oh, that was the, the, that was the county fair I used to go to. I, I wish I'd gone to it more. I remember seeing it like the past couple of years in college thinking, oh man, I should go down there. And then it's on for like two weeks in the spring and then I always forgot about it. I haven't actually been to a fair uh, probably since middle school. I do miss it. Those are pretty fun. Oh well. I decided to add a little triggerable light over by the splash zone too. We just put a light up here so as soon as when people go down it lights up real quick. I thought that was a fun little touch. Makes it look pretty cool at night. And now we're getting over to the main meat of the episode which is a new area and coaster. Now the coaster took me quite a while to try and to figure it out. I actually cut out quite a bit because I tried using the coaster with the bird and the things hang down from the bird, like the stork. I don't like this. I'm using this one. Yeah, I don't like it. It's dumb. <laughs> I kept accidentally flipping people over because the seats on the side can swing side to side. And if you go like up and down or anything, do any hills, uh, the seats like flip over. It's real. I don't like it. It's really dumb. So we end up switching to a different coaster, but this whole area is going to be themed like, oh, well, it's, it's going to be inspired by like a Mediterranean village. I don't know why, there's just a random idea I had. I really wanted to do something cool with this uh, limestone and pastel colors. So I thought that'd be a fun thing to do here. Starts off a little rough, but eventually I get into the groove. I go and look up some pictures, and then I just think it comes out awesome, awesome, awesome looking. It's, oh, I, I love it. It comes out so cool. It's kind of weird how the coaster's just tucked, tucked back there, but. The ambiance of the place is really nice. I think it's fantastic. These are these sorts of little spots I want to do around the park like this. And there actually is quite a bit in here. We put one coaster and then four shops in this small area. So we actually get quite a bit done here. Do like a cool little plaza on the center. But over here I'm just taking these couple walls trying to make it look like several buildings. Just the sort of the facades of the buildings. At first I wasn't sure if I was going to make them actual buildings or just the facade. So we end up like capping them off of the back. We don't put anything inside other than the coaster behind them. Uh, but overall, I just think it's really cool looking. Oh, I like it. We get so much little detail work here. Not super overly detailed, because I wanted these to be relatively plain. Because from what I was seeing in my research of the villages I was looking at, they're not super well detailed. I get a lot of them like old and cracked and stuff, but that'd be kind of hard to translate in here. Ah, oh, but it's... I like it. Just wait. Just wait, guys. It's gonna blow your freaking minds. Well, not really. That's kind of an overstatement. I don't think anything's ever really blown anyone's mind in this game. Actually, that's not true. I've seen some things that blow my mind and make me never ever want to play it again. But, you know, we just gotta move on with our lives. <laughs> what a weird thing to think about. Whatever. Uh, just originally, we had it attached to the coaster. It was kind of built on the grid, but since we kind of moved it around, it got a little, a little no longer on the grid. <laughs> what a horrible way to say that. Uh, but it's okay. No, oh, we'll just throw the coaster back. That doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, and trust me, it's not gonna be. And so here I was trying to add some little ponds on either side. Uh, just to get a little bit of visual interest. Trying to make it look a little less square-y than it was. Wait, you know what would be cool if we made this kind of like a seawall up along the side? There we go. 
I don't like those crestillations there, so we, we end up changing those to just a blank wall. You'll see eventually. Here's your word of the day, crestillations. That's what those things- I think it- I think it's right. I'm, <laughs> we've had this discussion in comments before, because during videos I'm like, hey, I think those are called crestillations, and then I end up being wrong, and then everybody points and laughs at me and says, C-Top, what do you know? You're just a chump. And I'm like, whoa, it's a strong word. Coming from you, jabroni. And they're like, whoa, <laughs> even stronger word. Uh, I don't know what's going on. All right. And some little planters over here. So kind of putting the walls back there. Chucking in some bushes. There we go. Trying to give it a little bit more greenery. Because it definitely needs it. The whole area behind this is going to be kind of surrounded in greenery. Oh boy, now we get to figure out the whole path thing. That's always fun. <laughs> we end up getting it to work, finally. Uh, for some reason, when I was trying to grid the paths, it was being a stinker. It was like, don't you do that to me? And I was like, yes, do that. And it was like, no. And I was like, yes. And it was like, no. And I was like, maybe. And it was like, okay. There you go. That's the tale of C-Top trying to grid his paths. <laughs> and it works out. At some point, I stop recording and then just figure it off camera and then start recording again. So here, I'm trying. they wouldn't join each other. I'm going to do this. Got to make sure the path underneath is nice and flat. Still not working very well. But there we go. Eventually get it. Did a little bit of tinkering off camera. Aha. Beautiful. Looking very, very good. Trying to make it all nice and flat underneath. So the path actually sits there correctly. Could be in a stinker. Yeah, so that's about as close as we can get it to the water's edge. Uh, but that's okay. We end up changing it a little bit. Oh, we... Yeah. We... Because I wasn't... I want... I would like it if the actual stonework on the path phased through, but for some reason it wasn't looking very good when I was getting it to there. Uh, just because the grass along the edges of the path, you can no longer terraform when they're that close to the path, so... I figured this was okay as well. Just a nice concrete look. Added some rocks and stuff along the side. And then some more plants, trying to make it look a little bit more overgrown. Added some more benches on the side there. Turned down the game sounds because the log flume behind me was... Making a lot of whooshy noises and it was bugging me. <laughs> I didn't see my trees. These are the mar mar Marsula trees? Marulsa trees? I think they're Marsula trees. It's, I may be mistaken, but I thought they looked cool here. Don't know if they're from this region, supposedly, but you guys know how I ca think about realism. And how I feel about realism. <laughs> Not my biggest priority. Uh, this freaking bird coaster. It's so, uh, it's so dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> At some point, I'd switch it for the, the Looney Tunes coaster, whatever that one's called. I don't remember. Over here, I kind of wanted to just put some little shops up in here. Kind of randomly placed around there. No little rhyme or reason. And people can start flooding in. Uh, we end up making it two entrances here. I originally had them out of wood, and I was like, I don't really like that. Let's go back to lime plaster. It looks way better. There we go. It looks way, way better. There we go, and take that there. Pop it back over to the other shop. Add a couple more in here. And I wanted to keep the center open because I either wanted like another path going through there or a fountain. So we end up adding a fountain. Just gotta change the color on these bad boys real quick. Doing that one blue because it is Cosmic Cow. Doing this one red because it is Once Your Fries. Doing that one green because it is Maxalente. And then I left the Hot Dog Squad just white because I was lazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess the Hot Dog Squad. Does Hot Dog Squad really have a color? I guess it's like black. I don't think it'll look very good. So we just left the default lime color. And then added some matching little... Uh, awnings over the top. Thought those were pretty nice looking. And some flowers on the side. And over here, I was trying to find a nice little area for a fountain. There we go. And since we had the path perfectly gridded to the squares, uh, you can just tear them out like that, and it looks great. Fits perfectly. So that that's something I'm glad I got working, just because it helps you in the long run. Things like this. Because imagine if uh, the path and the the concrete floors weren't lined up. That would have been kind of annoying to figure out. But ah, this is why we plan for the future. Yes, wise investment, doing things right, and the likes. Well, there we go, nice little fountain, pretty simple, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, if you'd say. People say, I say that a lot now. Well, I think it's because people are calling it out, like, calling me out on it. I probably never really realized I was saying that word that many, or that phrase that many times, so people start calling me out on it. Now I feel like it's my catchphrase, so I gotta say it. Do I have a catchphrase, guys? Should I put that on a t-shirt? Because right now I just have my C-Top t-shirt and my Cormac t-shirt. They can put pretty, pretty cool on a t-shirt. Would you guys buy that? <laughs> I would. I definitely would wear it around. It kind of looks a little bit narcissistic. Like, pretty, pretty cool. But here, you're going to see why I don't like this coaster. 
it's probably meant to be a lot more of a gentle ride, maybe like a kiddie coaster. I just don't like it. It's stupid. You'll see here, when I add like a couple little bunny hills here, and it's like, nope. You're not liking that. I'm a dumb little bird coaster. I'm a dumb big bird coaster, I guess. But yeah, so I go and test it. I accidentally hit autocomplete there. No way I did that. Come here, you. Go ahead and test it. Watch them ready. Oh my god, the carts flipped over. Everybody died. It's horrible. Screw that. So I actually edited it out quite a bit more of me tinkering with that coaster just because. Oh, I didn't like it. So we went with the Looney Tune coaster, the crazy one. Yeah, it's the Looney Tunes coaster. That's right. There we go. So doing a very similar thing. Just a nice little climb up top of the hill. I like kind of going with the terrain. And then this one, these coasters are hard because I have trouble with the coasters that have the shorter coaster cars. Like when they're really long, it's a, it's you're able to make the ride a lot smoother. When they're shorter like this, every little turn is kind of magnified by like a million. So. Any, every little bump is going to be really janky and wanky and more words that I'm making up. Uh, so that's the trouble with this. We didn't get it super smooth. We got about as smooth, smooth as I could. Since we were working in such a small area, this isn't supposed to be the longest, most intense coaster. We are definitely going to do some uh, later on that are a bit, quite a bit longer and more realistic. Because uh, I do want to try. Even though it's not my base concern, like I mentioned in the past, I do want to try. And so this one is a little bit more like my old ones, not not quite as good, uh, but it's got a, it's got a decent couple of inversions, couple of bunny hills. So it's meant to be just like a shorter coaster, kind of at the beginning of the park. And I think it's all right. It's nice and cramped, kind of fits well in this small area. Look at them all go up there. They're crazy. What's that noise? Oh, my dog's eating. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I moved his bowl right outside my door. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that noise? Gormick's munching away. Munching, munching, munching. And there we go, just going for the back of the coaster, trying to figure out uh, how to connect it there. If, look how small the hole was. I don't know why I was doing that. That was kind of weird. I should have tested it, see if the coaster would have just smacked right into the wall. That would have been neat. Dang it. I feel there's such regret in life. Oh well. Yeah, so we got a nice little kind of like a half helix, then a loop, and then a corkscrew, so. Nothing too crazy, but I think it's pretty nice. Uh, the, we didn't add the hills yet. We will add them after this. Just testing it out. Looking how rough and gross it is. Blah, blah, blah. At some point, I go and add the hills. Trust me. Over here, I'm just doing a little bit of smoothing. Just to smooth it out quite a bit. Come on, T-Top. You know you want to. Go add those little bunny hills. Get those little bunny hills in. There we go. And them little bunny hills. The bunny, the bunny. Ooh, I love the bunny. That's a VeggieTales reference, guys. Wow, you don't, you don't get references like that anywhere else. Man, I forgot about VeggieTales. The show was weird. It was really kind of indoctrinating. It was, it was a Christian children's show about vegetables. It wasn't too bad. Like, I, I didn't really get the religious mess message when I was watching it when I was young. I mean, I was raised Catholic, but I didn't really think of it too much. I just liked it because it was still little vegetables. Do you want to talk to tomatoes? Something like that. In this episode of Planet Coaster, she would have talks about children's vegetables, TV shows. <laughs> children's TV shows about vegetables who are incredibly religious and kind of judgy. They're very judgy for being vegetables, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Yeah, so for the Coaster Bay area, didn't really want to kind of wrap it in this whole other building, so we're just going to kind of leave it rather exposed, just kind of behind this facade of these buildings. I thought that was okay. I had a little sand. It's all right looking. Nothing too crazy. Uh, filling in the back there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. I'm thinking like maybe every three episodes. Well, I guess that would have been this one. I should do a first-person tour of what we built so far. I'll definitely do that in the next episode. I think every three episodes would be good. We got enough content to do a little first-person tour. I show you guys this whole area I just saw, well, with the still camera and then we ride the coaster, but... Yeah, I think we'll do that. So, starting next episode, every three episodes, we'll do a little tour. I think that'll be good. Just because I used to do the tours, like, every three or four episodes when I finished a section. But since we aren't actually doing any sections this time, that would be a little bit hard to do. So, I think every three or four episodes, we'll just do a first-person tour at the end of the video. Just to catch you guys up on what exactly we built. And in case there's anyone who's jumping in uh, just now. Oh, dropped my phone. 
Yeah, traffic really has slowed down since uh, Planet Coaster release came out. That's okay. We still got some new people coming in. If you're new, give, give me a give me a what's up. Like we're a mid 2000s beer commercial. What's up? <laughs> Classic. All right, adding some more trees and bushes all throughout there. In this slow part up here, definitely wanted to add some cool stuff. Well, I guess it's just trees and bushes. You know, it would have been cool to add some more like lights up there or something. I probably should go do that. Maybe some triggerable lights, because those would be fun. Maybe some just like lanterns hanging down. Like it's the Italian countryside. I'm doing the thing with my hand. You know the thing people do when they're pretending to be Italian? Hey, it's like you're playing a trombone. You know the pinchy movement? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, and they gotta remember to go and add the ride name for this. So, uh, you guys suggested a whole bunch of names for this ride last episode. And I liked a bunch of them, but I think Chop Chop was my favorite. So that is the name of our log firm ride. Chop Chop. Top Chop Chop. So if you guys have any ideas for this coaster, definitely let me know. Um, so it's supposed to be inspired by, like, Mediterranean villages. Maybe something in, like, Italian or Spanish or something. That may be pretty cool. A real seaside sort of village, but... Hey, if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know for the name of this coaster. Yeah, the nice little area. I think that's so cool looking, man. It's so random, but I'm okay with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, it goes right by your head. Got some nice little drive tires there. Mmm. I'm having I'm having a lot of fun with this part, guys. I, I just feel free. Like I don't feel limited by any specific ideas or build sets or themes or motifs. So I'm just I'm loving it. It's a ton of fun. Now we get to ride this guy. I like the original color too. This was like the default color, the yellowish thing. I thought that was pretty cool. This is a very warm section of the park. Oh, kind of hit that tree there. Yeah, watch out for that tree. Loop de loop. And back around. Yeah, so I smoothed the crap out of those parts, but they're still just super janky. It's kind of annoying. That's okay. This girl's wearing like punk rock gloves. It's weird. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster. Make sure you're hitting that like button and it's stupid little face if you're enjoying. Want to see more Planet Coaster content in the future? Any ideas for the co uh, coaster? Definitely let me know. I will see you next time. Bye.